Of anybody ever catching LeBron? Well, odds? They should ask Vegas then. <laughs> <laughs> How possible do you think it is? I mean, uh, it's always a possibility, you know, but it's going to be really tough. Uh, you got to have a guy that plays for 20, uh, I mean, 20s now, 20 years uh, in that shape. Uh, I mean, how he holds up his body. Uh, I'm just saying outside all the basketball skills, you know, he just. It's very hard to hold that body. Uh, uh, if you're saying me, there's no way because I'm not playing that much. <laughs> in previous history in the NBA, there have been many great players, great legends that have played through the age of 35 to 37. And unfortunately, father time came up to them. We got the Michael Jordans, we got the Tim Duncans, we got the David Robinsons, we got the Charles Barkers, we got all these NBA legends, Shaq and Kobe. All these NBA legends, which try to play to the age of whenever, and unfortunately, father time came up to them. Except one man, who just turned 38 a couple weeks ago. Who is on the LA Lakers, who is considered one of the GOATs in the NBA of all time. His name goes by the name of LeBron James. Ladies and gentlemen, Le LeBron James continues to amaze a lot of folks out there, uh, critics, a lot of people out there, a lot of players. Just continues to amaze everybody on the basketball court at the age of 38. Ladies and gentlemen, will LeBron be the first person in NBA history to defeat Father Time? What's good, y'all? It's your boy Will. I'm going to be back again with another video. And we saw last night what kind of performance LeBron put on. It was a su superb performance from him compared to the last couple of games he had versus the Hornets and the Hawks. We had back about 40 point games at the age of 38, looking like he's, he's like 25. How he's playing. He's playing at a high level. He has the Lakers probably in 500 by now. And he continues to flourish. Now he's been dealing with his growing injuries and things of that nature. But him coming back and just having these kind of performances. Keeping his body in the right shape. You know, ladies and gentlemen, you know he spent $2 million on his body every year. $2 million. This is why this man is still looking like he's about to defeat Father Time. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put up on the screen. What is his averages throughout his whole career? He The most points he averages is 31. Right now, he's averaging 28.9. That is the fourth most points he has ever averaged in his career. And he is about 40 years old. Let's compare that to Michael Jordan. Let's compare that, compare that to all these other legends. MJ, we know what kind of go MJ. MJ is the go, okay? But when it comes to longevity, LeBron has that. We can all these critics, they can argue who the go is between LeBron and MJ. But when it comes to longevity, LeBron got that argument, hands down. MJ at the age of 38 and 39 averaged 22 and 20. This man, LeBron James, might average. 30 points per game like he did last year. And putting on a show. And still dunking like he's still 23 years old coming out at coming out of high school. This man is beating all odds, beating all these haters, these old head haters, like this clown on the screen. Being all these people that doubted him that think he was gonna be finished after the groin injury. Being all these people that just been doubting him his whole career. And he's beating everybody right now. Not just on the court, but off the court. How he could take takes care of his body. He's just he's still inspiring all these folks out here. Still inspiring all these players. And with such a special moment to see him and Shannon Sharp, he put on the screen, him and Shannon Sharp having a great moment. Because obviously that's 
Shannon Sharp's one of his biggest fans, but he he is witness he's still witnessing greatness. This man LeBron James. We don't know if he how, when he was going to retire. He's going to be the Tom Brady of the NBA because Tom Brady's 45 years old. He's still in it. He's still in the playoffs. We don't know when LeBron James is going to retire. I can't believe I'm saying this, but he's only 38. We can't say that about anybody else in the, in the league. Say, oh, this player's only 38. Most most players at the age of 38, they retire. They either retire or they out of the league or they're just on the team, just helping the team. Udonis Haslam is the, part, is the oldest player in the NBA, but he's basically a coach on the team. He's not doing what other players are doing. He's he's It's amazing what he's doing, but come on now. I believe LeBron James can play until he's like 46. This is how great this man is because he takes care of his body. He put he takes time out his day to take care of his body, his his mental his mindset, and this is amazing what he's what we've been witnessing, y'all. The sky's the limit for this team, for the Lakers because. The Western Conference is wide open. We honestly don't know who's the best team in the Western Conference. Obviously, the Lakers, I don't believe they're going to go that far because AD can never stay healthy. And they don't really have anybody else other than LeBron and AD. Westbrook has been playing, was been, it has been balling off the bench. Lionel Walker is a great addition. AR has been doing his thing. But who else they have? They need other players. They need, they need shooters, obviously. They need some shooters. And they need a they need some three and D guys on the Lakers if they want to, I guess, advance in the playoffs. But we must say, when you have a player named LeBron James, it don't matter what age he is, you better look out. Do not get this man in the playoffs because right now this man is playing like the 2018 LeBron James, and. In my opinion, that is the best version of LeBron James I have ever seen. It's the regular season right now, y'all, but it's just amazing how what he's doing. It just looks like he's about to beat defeat the farther time. He's about to be all odds, y'all. And y'all can y'all can keep comparing who is the greatest of all time, but let's let's um, let's ask this question for y'all. If LeBron James passes Kareem Abdul Jamar as the leading scorer in NBA history. What will y'all say then? What's going to be the discussion when he, when he play, surpasses that? Because he's going to surpass that. It will be this year. How he's been balling, how he's been hooping, it will be this year. So let's ask that question, y'all. Comment down below. What is y'all answer? Who will be the GOAT if LeBron surpasses Kareem? Right now, I want y'all to just witness greatness and stop comparing these two between LeBron and MJ. Stop comparing the GOATs, the legends out there with LeBron. Just stop doing that. Just witness greatness. Appreciate, like I said, appreciate him now before he retires, y'all. Because when he retires, we're going to miss him. Plain and simple. That's all I got for today's video. If y'all enjoyed, give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'm out, y'all.